afternoon. It's Eric here at 12 String Theory with a 12 String Dan Electro. Um, this is one of their 1959 models, uh, basically a duplicate of instruments they made 60 some odd years ago. Dan Electro is um, one of the few companies making these 12 String Electrics now. And um, they were basically brought back to life about 30 years ago. They were out of business for a long time. And um, they started making a lot of um, interesting guitars again. I have a number of them in the shop here that I'll be going over at different times. But um, I have a real soft spot for 12 string, 12 string guitars because they have a pretty unique sound. Um, Dan Electro, um, the construction is really strange compared to most guitars. They have a hard body, uh, hardwood front and back to the body with a spruce frame and this kind of like white binding tape um, and you know that's not anything you find typically. It adds to the sound too um, because of the fact that the body is hollow. So you get some extra resonance from it. Um, they use aluminum nuts, maple neck, um, it's a powerful ferro fretboard I'm pretty sure. Um, the balance is pretty good. They're a little bit headstock heavy because of the 12 tuners, but the whole thing only weighs a hair under 7 pounds for this one. The, um, the bridge is quite good on this also. It has um, intonation adjustments for all 12 strings. Um, six of the strings go through the body, six go through the hardtail here. Um, a lot of the Dan Electros use these lipstick, tube, lipstick pickups. Um, they, they add to the brightness of these guitars. And, um, you know, all in all, they just have a really neat sound. Um, I believe these are all 25-inch scale length, so it's kind of halfway between your typical Fender and Gibson. Um, these all come out of Korea at this point, and the build quality is quite good on them. So um, for, for a 12-string guitar, you can, you can play all this stuff that just kind of sounds right, and forgive me for not using a capo, but... Where's that start? Capo makes it much easier, but I'm kind of lazy. So I'm in the middle position here. Um, if I switch over to the bridge, you get that kind of really nice bright sound. Up at the neck, um, it's more bassy, which is no surprise. And the way that these things are wired is kind of different. In the middle position, they're in series. So you get a lot more output as a consequence. And I got to be careful not to, like, strum too hard and overdrive things. Um, They're, um, they're not too tough to play. It's compared to like the Rickenbacker 12 strings, which use the same width neck for their 6s and 12s. Uh, these are a little bit wider, so they're not super crowded. Um, I think I'm pretty sure these are Diodario strings that come stock on all the Danos. Um, probably a 10 through 46. I would typically put lighter strings on it. Makes it much easier to play. And you know, for these things, it, it, in my opinion, it doesn't hurt the sound at all. And, you know, all in all, they're just really cool guitars. They make sounds that six strings don't. If I can remember how all these songs go.
cool guitars, all in all. So, Dan Electro, 59, 12 string. I got a couple of right-handed ones here in the shop. I'm waiting for a left-handed one to appear. Um, tough to get, but I'm trying to give the left-handed players out there something to like, actually, um, something to play. It's that simple. So I'll let you guys know when I get one of those, that's for sure. But that's all I got for today. Take care. Bye now.